Hey guys, it's Brittany. Welcome back to my channel, Under the Radar Books, and I'm going to be doing the Bookish Beginnings tag, and I was tagged by the lovely Yamini over at The Skeptical Reader, and I love this tag so much. It's one of my favorite ones to watch. I love seeing where people's love of books has come from, and this was originally created by Lauren over at Books and Daydreams, and so I will link both of their channels down below. If you haven't checked out their channels, go head on over. They are wonderful, and you will love both of them. So the first question is, tell us about what you love to read as a child. Obviously, I have really fond memories of Narnia and Harry Potter and all those classics. Um, also, just various fairy tales. I loved fairy tales. I loved ghost stories. I have really great memories about all of those things. Um, more specifically, I loved John Bellers as a child, and I believe I mentioned this in a previous video, but my librarian actually in middle school let me check out books over the summer, and one summer she sent me home with all of John Bellers books that we had in the library, and they were like children's horror books, and there was a couple different series um, involving different child protagonists and I just remember them being really creepy and exciting and I love them so much. I do own a couple of them. I have The Mansion in the Mist, The Secret of the Underground Room, The Spell of the Sorcerer's Skull, and The Beast Under the Wizard's Bridge. And I love these ones that are illustrated by Edward Gorey. He does these really like interesting pencil line drawing kind of things and I love these covers and so I just I only buy these types of covers when I find them um, but yeah I have such fond memories about his books I his probably most famous one is the house with a clock on its wall so if you like children's fiction you like horror I would definitely check out John Bellers he is a wonderful author and I love these books so much question number two is what was the first adult fiction you tried or want to read I'm sure that I read adult fiction before this particular book but this is one that just stands out in my mind the most I would say and that is The Haunting of Hill House by Shirley Jackson and I think I read this probably when I was about 13 or 14 and I remember just being blown away by the writing. I remember just it's not in your face horror or scary but it's just so unsettling and Shirley Jackson as a writer I think is just so talented and I remember just feeling so in awe of this book when I read it and I have such a big place in my heart for it for those reasons. So I'm going to go with this one as the first adult book that really made an impact on me. Question number three is, what was a classic book you read not because of school? I think that it was probably 1984 by George Orwell. I didn't have to read this for school and I remember reading it maybe in seventh grade and I really loved it. Um, it kind of got me turned on to like dystopian type novels and I actually don't currently own a copy which is crazy. I need to pick one up somewhere. Um, but another one that I, another classic that I read not because of school and I absolutely loved, I actually reread it recently and loved it just as much, maybe even more, is I Capture the Castle by Dodie Smith. This is about a young girl and her sister and her father who live in this old dilapidated castle and their father is a writer and the young girl writes journal entries and that's how the book is written and it's basically about it's a coming of age story about the young girl and her eccentric family and it's just so heartwarming and the protagonist is just one of the most likable and interesting characters I've ever read and this is definitely gonna be one of my favorites for all time, I'm sure. So if you haven't read this one, please pick it up. I think you will love it. Question number four is, tell us about a book that made you realize a new favorite genre or writing style. And I'm gonna go with Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell because I never read contemporary for the longest time. I just didn't think it was something that I would enjoy. I always picked up thrillers and horror books and more dark fiction. And I just didn't think that, you know, some type of light and fluffy story would appeal to me. But I'd heard so much about Fangirl and Rainbow Rowell as an author that I really wanted to give it a try. And I did, and I'm so glad that I loved it. I thought it was so fun and 
interesting. I love, I just fell in love with the characters and it definitely made me more open to contemporary as a genre. I don't think that it's one of my favorite genres still, but I do know now that I do enjoy it and I do like to try it every now and again. So I'm really glad that I gave this a try. Question number five is, what was the first literary prize winner that you read or want to read? Um, I'm not sure what the first literary prize winner I ever read was. I don't pay attention to prizes too much. Um, I think it's a plus when I buy a book that is a prize winner, but for the most part I just go off um, what sounds interesting to me. So I can't specifically remember which one I have read or which one I read first. I know I've read prize winners in the past, but just nothing is coming to mind. But um, two prize winners that I do want to get to very soon are uh, Midnight's Children by Salman Rushdie and Perfume by Patrick Sus Suskind. This one won the Fantasy Book Award, I want to say. And um, this is about a perfumer who becomes obsessed with a woman and I think he wants he ends up killing her and wanting to like create a scent of this woman or something I, I'm not sure maybe I'm completely off base but that's what I think it's about it sounds creepy and um, unsettling and yeah I definitely want to get to this one soon and then Midnight's Children is a magical realism book and I know it's one of the most famous ones. And since I love magical realism, I've got to pick this up sometime. And this uh, won the Booker Prize. So yeah, this is definitely another literary prize winner that I want to get to very soon. Question number six is what is the first translated piece of fiction that you read? And I don't know if this is the first one that I read, but this is definitely one of my favorites. And that is The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Zafon. And this was translated from Spanish. And if you have not read this, you need to go buy this or go to the library or whatever and you need to read it immediately because it is a book lover's dream. I mean, this book, the entire story is so thrilling. The characters are wonderful. The writing is like poetry and it is just like a love story to literature. So book lovers, pick up this book and read it and talk to me about it because I love it so much. It's definitely in my top five favorite books of all time. Read it, read it, read it. And the last question is, tell us why you started your booktube channel and what it was like to film your first video. So I started my channel because I, and I talked about this in my new to booktube video and I can link that down below as well. But I started my booktube channel because there's not a lot of people in my life that enjoy reading and I love reading. It's my favorite thing in the world and I just wanted to be able to talk to people about that and to share my love of books with others, meet new people and to be able to chat about it and just be able to share that passion that I have for reading with all of you. <laughs> so thank you again Yamini for tagging me in this video and thank you all for watching. And I really hope you guys are having a great week. Happy reading!